Welcome to this video for N4 Electrotechniques. And in this lesson, we'll be looking at the construction of DC machines. Here we have a two pole DC machine. In terms of the main parts, we have the yoke, the field pole, also known as the pole core, the field coil, also known as field windings, the pole shoe, and the armature assembly. The main frame, also known as the yoke, forms the outer casing and is used to protect the inner parts. The terminal box is where we find the electrical connections. The field pole, also known as the pole core, is used to strengthen the magnetic field. The field coils, also known as field windings, produce the magnetic flux when they carry current. The pole shoe helps to distribute the flux over the air gap. The air gap must be large enough to prevent friction but small enough to prevent energy loss. The armature assembly, we also need to know the main function of each part of the armature assembly. For the armature core, it produces torque. It has slots where the armature windings fit inside. And it's also made of laminated steel sheets to reduce the effects of eddy currents. The commutator, made of copper found at the end of the armature assembly. It allows for electrical connection, allows current to flow from the armature and converts AC to DC. Mica is used to insulate the segments of the commutator. It is a good insulating material that can withstand high temperature. They have wedge shaped segments to prevent the segments from moving out of position due to centrifugal force. We get two types of bearings. We get ball bearings and roller bearings, and their main function is to prevent friction. Brushes, in this example, we have carbon brushes. Now, carbon is used by manufacturers because it's cheap, hard wearing, withstand high temperatures, and the dust acts as a lubricant. To distinguish the difference between lap wounding and wave wounding, depending on the application of the machine, for lap winding, they are connected close together. And for wave winding, they are connected far apart. And for lap winding, the number of parallel paths is the same as the number of poles. For wave winding, there are only two parallel paths formed and thus only two brushes. Lap winding is used for low voltage, high current machines. And wave winding is used for high voltage, low current machines. Now for our calculations, the number of parallel paths for wave winding, C is always equal to two. And for lap winding, C is equal to two times the number of pole pairs. Thank you for watching this video for the construction of DC machines.